Okay, Jet, you gotta catch it. So this is a bunker. You, you good? Yeah. I gotta try it out. I'm just gonna do a little bunker shot. Okay. Just try to, so it doesn't hit the wall. No. Huh? Penalty. You can't touch oh, the Oh, I touched it. That's two strokes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, exciting day. We are putting in our uh, custom, well, our indoor putting green. I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. Let's go. Okay, now this is not going to be anything like when I did how to regrip your clubs at home because you could actually lose fingers if you do it the way I showed you. But that's fine because you know, whatever. It's 10. Uh, so this is more pro. I've got John here from Custom Design Golf. We connected and so he's the pro. Okay, I'm, I'm the schmo. He is, he gr graciously came over. He, he got me the um, bent grass putting green. Bent green. Bent green. It's not bent grass, it's bent green. Similar to, it replicates bent grass, correct? Correct, yeah. The speeds are accurate to okay. uh, regular bent grass greens. There you go. So he, uh, he sold me the, the, the bent green. Link in the description below, custom design golf. And so he says, oh come on, I was like, dude, I don't wanna mess this up. So he's like, I will come over, drove up from Florida. So he um, is helping us out today, installing, and we're gonna show you how to do it. So when you go to Custom Design Golf and you get your stuff, this is how you, you put it in. All right, this is the piece we're gonna actually hit off of. Now we were thinking about, normally you would cut, do a cutout and put this in um, the cutout spot, but I'm like, I like putting across the green. So what we're gonna do is, uh, we're just gonna make it so we can just lay it across. This is our divot action um, piece here. It acts just like the turf would act if you're hitting on real grass. See how it gives a little? So it allows the club head to go into the ball and through the turf without any interference by the surface itself like every other golf mat in the industries. So this is cool. So we got, you can hit um, right-handed, left-handed. This is our first cut and our deep rough. And if you notice, our deep rough has both highs and lows. So we can have an embedded deep rough. We can have a fluffy deep rough, depending if your luck on the course, whether the deep rough, the ball has a nice lie or if it's embedded. And this mm -hmm. is divot action also. Wow. And we have one other secret what? that simulates sand. What? Look at that. The beauty of it is it creates the drag of the club head through bunker sand. Okay, so what is this filled with? It's a gel. Will it pop? Uh, after a lot of use. But okay. the nice thing, our devices were all uh, designed so that they have replaceable parts. So, all right, what happens when this leaks all over the place? Oh, it's, it's only water. Oh. So okay. it's not gonna damage anything. The other stuff is the gel. Yeah, there's, a, there's a, a bladder in there that's replaceable. This is the durable nylon cover that's replaceable. And then there's a base, which really will never need to be replaced. But this, this is what we like. Okay, here, let's try something. Okay, Jet, you gotta catch it. So this is a bunker. You, you good? Yeah. I gotta try it out. Yeah. I'm just gonna do a little bunker shot. Okay. Just try to, so it doesn't hit the wall. No. Huh? Penalty. You can't touch oh, the Oh, I touched it. That's two strokes. <laughs> <laughs> All That's pretty good. Give it to me again. Well, it's not a brush, white brush, like some manufacturers call a sand device. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ours actually is the feel of sand. It sounded like sand. It does. If you hit it with that correct thump. 
That would be a chunk, right? <laughs> I mean, I'm scared. I don't want to hit my son upside his head. Yeah, you should have your mat up, your screen. Yeah, we want the screen, but... Now, of course, you wouldn't Forget swing that easy. No, that's just a little guy. Right. right? But that's... Um, it's one of a kind. I've never felt... You know, it's always been the grass. I thought it was going to be like white grass. No, it's. we think it should be more realistic. That's pretty good. All right. <laughs> Enough goofing around. Right now we're doing all the math to figure out how much space to leave on the sides for our fringe. When I say we're doing the math, John's doing the math. Mm. I stay far away during these moments. All right, we got we're going nine inches perimeter with the with the rough, with the fringe, whatever you call it. So you gotta lay down your carpet, carpet, your green, like pretty close to where you want it, so that now you can cut and hem in and seam in the other stuff. So what we want to do is we want to seam it so that the green is actually coming this way. So we get that darker look. Yes. I like it. Some of the stuff you'll need is the Loctite uh, premium construction adhesive. Has to be a urethane adhesive because the turf is made with a urethane backing. I know all this stuff, but I just, you know, trying to help you guys out. So there you go, this is the 28 ounce version. And so what we're doing right now is uh, we're dry fitting. That's what, that's what we call it in the construction business, we're dry fitting. And then, uh, <laughs> whatever that means. I get, I'm assuming that means you, you haven't put the glue on yet. Uh, so we're dry fitting, get it all down, then, then you glue. That's how you repair mistakes. I was talking to John and messed him up. No, that was my mistake. <laughs> That's all I'm good for. I'm good for messing people up with stuff. <laughs> okay, so we got the whole floor um, dry, what do you call it? Dry fit. Dry fit. Now, dry now we're gonna get the seam. So that's what you do. You map it out, you dry fit your floor. Now we're gonna seam tape it down and that's basically the final piece. Uh-oh. Did I get the wrong size? You got the wrong gun. My mistake. I should do this more often. This, see, this is right up my alley. We're going to Home Depot. Because <laughs> we got the wrong size gun for the things. Here we go. On, yeah. On any of the... All right, we got the gun. We're ready to glue, seam, finish it up. So we bead, we bead the back side of the mat with the adhesive, add the seam tape, as you can see, right? Uh, well, and then, um, and then now we're gonna bead the seam tape with the adhesive, use a coving knife on this side, and then put down the, uh, fringe, turf. the fringe turf, and that'll be there. And then what it should do, it should settle on the outside or the part closer to the wall and be fine. But if it doesn't after a couple weeks, then I can, or you can always add a little bit of adhesive on the back, on the outside of it and just weight it down with something. But it should settle down just nicely just on its own. Just because of the weight. Uh, just because of the weight of it. 
But if it comes up a little bit, then you just, that's why you put the adhesive uh, later on if you need it. When you put this in, we're gonna actually put it in sideways to make sure the back of this goes to the back of the pudding green. And those go in kind of like a little tongue and groove notch like that. So the then the part next to the wall would come down last. Yeah, we have the shorter putting turf and the ch fringe chipping turf, but you can see we're laying the fringe on top of the putting green. But we want to marry these two seams together. So if you take a pair of pliers and lift the putting green, see how it falls on top of the chipping turf and it hides the seam. Beautiful. Love it. And it gives you a much nicer finished look. All right, uh, we're, we're pretty much done with the uh, flooring. This guy right here, where is he? John, Custom Design Golf, link in the description below. Check them out and we're gonna show you a lot more of the stuff that they have. They have the um, Divot Action. Dix divot Action Mat Systems, right? Yeah, Divot Action Mat Systems, which you saw a little bit. We're gonna hit a lot of those. You're gonna see a lot of that stuff. Link in the description below, check it out. He came out over here from Florida to help me put this together, we're done. I'm gonna clean it up. We'll show you the finished uh, deal when it's all cleaned up. Here we go. Well, uh, what do you think? Not bad. I was showing my wife. She didn't think all the fringe was the same color and it just depends on what angle you look at it from because the grass is still laying uh, one way versus the other so I'm that's why I vacuumed with those regular conventional vacuum around the perimeter so to help get those uh, fibers standing straight up but you do not want to vacuum with that roller brush on your bent green because that will start to mess it up so that's why I use the shop vac all through to pick up every little fiber. We've got to get uh, perfection here. So we'll keep, uh, over time, it'll uh, shape up. So anyways, that's how you install your home putting surface and the fringe. And I'm grateful for John to come out here and help me. That was a, that was a gift, man. So anyways, check out Custom Design Golf. They have a lot of products, including what we're gonna do a lot more stuff with is the uh, Divot Action uh, hitting surface. So that's coming soon. I, I have it. I, we're just waiting for my screen to arrive so that we can install that and get everything going. But until then, we'll be doing a little putting, maybe some little chipping stuff in here while we, while we got it in. Hope this video helps when you're installing. If you have any questions, uh, call John because that guy I'll tell you what sold me on him versus everybody else This is the key is the fact that when I called him He got so detailed with the measurements. I had to give him like I couldn't just say oh, it's like seven and a half feet He's like is it seven feet six inches? I, yeah, like something like that. He's like well I need to know exactly like and he, we kept going over and over and he just spent so much time with me getting everything perfect that I was like, man, I, I need this guy in my life. So uh, we got it, got it in. Thanks, John. Thanks, Custom Design Golf. Love you guys. Uh, see you next video.